Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with a Dollar Tree haul for you. And guys, I found some good stuff that I want to share with you. A while back, one of you had mentioned to me about the snail mucin masks, face masks. I found them. When you told me about that, I was on the hunt and there they were. And right beside it, they had ones with pearl. So let's read quickly about the pearl ones. These are Korean beauty products, which I absolutely love. And these are, I don't know how to say that name. Yuen, Yuen Yul? Not sure. But this one with the pearl, it's a moisture, natural moisture pearl sheet mask. It says drenches the skin with pearl extract which helps to make your skin shine and bright. It immediately re replenishes dehydrated skin and keeps the skin soft and moist. And then it goes into detail about how to use it. I am so looking forward to this. I picked up two of these in the Pearl. If you guys have used these products, please let me know your thoughts on them. But I think that is amazing. And then they had the snail. I picked up three, and this is made, and you guys are probably going to think it's gross, but it's made with snail secretion filtrate. Snail mucus is what it is, whatever that slime is, which provides extra nutrients, moisture, and moisture to the skin. It immediately replenishes dehydrated skin and keeps the skin soft and moist. I actually used snail mucin in the past. I think I'm saying that correctly. I had got an order from Alta, and sometimes Alta will send you little gifts, and I received that, and one of them was a little tiny, tiny, little tub, tiny, of snail mucin. I loved it, and I just never repurchased, but when I saw these, I figured I'm going to pick up three and try these and see how they are, see if I love these as much as I love that little tiny bottle of it. I think that's great. $1.25 for these? You'll pay a lot more somewhere else for these. So yeah, if I like them, I hope they're still there and I will stock up. I don't know if there's like a best if used by date on these anywhere. They are made in Korea. I don't see a date. So yeah, if you guys have tried these, Please let me know your thoughts, the snail one or the pearl one. I didn't see any others in this, this company name. So if you guys know if there are others out there, please let me know because I will happily pick these up to try them. Excellent. That made me so happy. And thank you for telling me that they were out there. So just keep looking for things, guys, because you never know what you're going to find or when. Because that was a while ago that you told me that. All right, some food items this time. Picked up some taco shells. And Hubby actually likes the soft shell. I like I like the crunchy. I'm just a crunchy Ortega girl. These are the yellow corn taco shells, and you get eight in here. So one night for supper, we're going to have tacos. I don't know how much these are in the grocery store. You can probably maybe get that a little bit cheaper, but that's okay. And what I want to try with it is these. We did pick up a couple pouches of these here when they first came out. They're good, but I did not use them in tacos. Hubby actually mixed them with some type of rice. I can't remember what the rice was that we got from the Dollar Tree. And that the rice itself was spicy. So it made this way more spicy than what it is. But I want to try that. We picked up a couple packs of these and I'm going to try to use this as like the taco meat and see how it is. Have you guys done that yet? But this is the Hereford brand. And it says, dip and ready. And these are the spicy seasoned beef crumbles, a product of Brazil. It's already fully cooked and ready to eat. And it's six ounces. No refrigeration needed unless you open it, of course. And it has the zip, the um, resealable. Is it resealable? Maybe not. No, maybe not. It, it looks like it would be resealable, but I don't think it is. But you just pull it from the top. So I thought this would just be quick and easy to make, you know, tacos one, you know, for lunch one day or supper one day. Give it a try. Why not? So I did pick up three of these. But yeah, that, that's going to be for probably supper one night. 
my favorite dip from the Dollar Tree and probably anywhere else, like a chip type dip. This is the Utz brand, the Creamy Onion. These are the perfect little size for me and hubby. And this is delicious. It's the Creamy Onion Dip. How many ounces is this? I'm not sure. 3.7 ounces. Refrigerate after opening. This little tub is just perfect for he and I. If we're having just, you know, chips with a sandwich for lunch, something like that, perfect amount. And this is so, so good. And they also have a cheese sauce. I don't think it's nacho cheese. I think it's like a cheddar cheese dip too that is just as good. Great for nachos. But if you like onion dips, give this Utz brand a try if it's in your stores because it is really good. And then this. Oh my goodness, guys. If you like hazelnut spread and you see this, pick this up and try it. It is so good. It's hazelnut and like a vanilla cream swirled together like that. It is delicious. It's the Rossellini brand, hazelnut cream with milk and cocoa. It's called a duo. It's a seven ounce package. I love this stuff. The best buy on this is when? January of 26. They are sealed on the top. This won't last long. One of you asked, what do I, what do I eat this with? I've dipped pretzels in it delicious. I've used it on toast. I've made, um, we get, it's a cinnamon bread from Trader Joe's and I'll toast that, like slice it, then toast it and put just a little, little smear of this on. So good. It's great with fruit, like sliced fruit, apples, pears. It's delicious. And we picked up five of these, I think, just because we have to have Kraft mac and cheese in the house. So it's, it's a must. And this is just the thick and creamy. They also had original. And sometimes you see it in different flavors as well, like triple cheese, that kind of stuff. I either like just the original or the the um, this thick and creamy. But grandkids, you know, everybody likes craft. Delicious. And then we had used, picked up two of these to try it. We've already used one. And there were just a few left on the shelf, so I picked up another one as backup. This is good. If you don't like making your own sloppy joe sauce, whatever you want to call that, this is good. It is it is on the sweeter side, but it's delicious. And it's the Red Gold brand, and it's a non-BPA liner, which is excellent. It's family-owned, made in the USA, and this is the original flavor, so it's it's not spicy, it's not hot, it, it's a sweet, delicious flavor, and it's a 15 ounce can. The best buy on this is May of 26, so nice long shelf life on that. U.S. company, guys, and that's good. And this is the last of the food items. These look different to me. Best buy is July of 24, it's the Wise brand, which Love Wise Potato Chips. It's a Pennsylvania company. And these are the, they're called, they're new, Loose Screws. And they're nacho cheese flavored. And it's a 3.5 ounce. I thought the kids would get a kick out of this. Loose Screws. <laughs> I didn't see any other flavors either. So I'm not quite sure what else is out there. But the, this brand is from Berwick, Pennsylvania. I grew up on a lot of Wise products. So I know that they're very good. Their original potato chips from Wise are delicious. So, yeah, if you guys have tried these, let me know. And if you know if there's any other flavors out there, let me know. But the only thing we saw was nacho cheese. The kids are going to love that. All right. I needed just my, my tried and true garbage bags. I always look for the 15 count. They're good scents. Also made in the USA. And I always get the lemon scent. I just... The lemon scent, it's next to nothing, which that makes me happy. They're, they have another scent. It may be lavender or like fresh fields or something. That has a stronger scent to it for me, and I, I don't like that. So I always get the lemon. And these work great for us. I've talked about these a billion times. They're, as long as we don't put like sharp edged things in the garbage or like pack it super, super full, which... You know, garbage bags from anywhere would rip if you did that. So these don't, they don't do that for us. 
And then this looked fun for when the kids are around. I've picked up a lot of bubble things this year. And I just thought it would be great when the kids are around. Everybody loves bubbles. Here not too long ago, we were actually sitting outside and one of the neighbors, their little ones must have been blowing bubbles. And they came quite a distance. They were coming right by us in our yard. And you know, our neighbors, where the little ones were, it's quite a distance away. So whatever bubble solution they were using that day, it was some good stuff. But they had this this time, and I thought this looked really different. And what it is, it's almost like a little bubble rocket. And it's called a bubble shuttle. And it shows you on the back that you have to kind of put the solution in, and then you put it together, and then you step on the little pump. And it has all of these little like bubble blower wands on the end. You put that on there and then it shoots and it blows bubbles. Let's see here. I think that would be so fun. They are coming out with some really cool stuff. And this was $1.25, guys. This, this wasn't from the plus section. I needed some of these cookie cooling racks. It's just called a cooling rack by Cooking Concepts. These are what I use to make my hot wings. I line a, a cookie sheet, like one with the little sidewalls, line it with, with foil. I set this on top. I'll spray it lightly with like um, nonstick spray, Pam or whatever. I put this on top then of my cookie sheet and then I just set my, my wings on here and then I put them in the oven. I either regular bake them or I air fry them. And then I make my sauce with my Frank's Red Hot and they're delicious. And it's much more economical doing it yourself than it is to buy them pre-made. So that's what this is for. I actually got two of these. About every season I go ahead and I throw them away because sometimes they can be really hard to clean. You know, after making the wings, they kind of like stick to it and get crusty and so I just throw them away and get new and football season, it's right around the corner. So I'll be making my wings really soon. Is that it? I think that's it. All right, everybody. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.